the recoverable cure for the plague of leprosy. Let me say this in closing tonight. I just want to say this in relation to COVID-19. I'm realizing this is going out in the air. It's not a sin to get vaccinated. It's an individual choice. It's a matter of conscience. I don't know what remedies they had three and a half thousand years ago. They probably had no vaccines, but they lived and died in the hands of the Lord. But it's not a sin to get vaccinated. It's not a sin not to get vaccinated. Again, it's to do with individual choice. And I believe tonight in individual conscience. And I believe tonight the Lord is the Lord of the conscience. And we're accountable to him and to him alone. You see, I don't believe, as some allege, that the state has the right to command mandatory vaccines. The government's authority is not absolute. And the state has no right to command mandatory vaccines or vaccine passports so that a person could enter into the house of God. The state has no jurisdiction in the life and witness of Christ's church. We have to say tonight the United Kingdom government's not seeking to honor God or to know God or to glorify him. Are they going to introduce mandatory abortions? Are they going to introduce mandatory euthanasia? Are they going to introduce mandatory experimental drugs? See, let me say this in closing. and Your time is gone. I haven't even time to scratch the surface here. It's theologically impossible. Because it's a denial of the truth that the gospel is for all people. Vaccinated and unvaccinated. It's morally wrong because mandatory vaccines are actually prohibited by the public health agency in the United Kingdom. It's socially unacceptable because it will create a two-tier society. That's what's happening in New Zealand. That's what's going to happen in Austria. That's what will happen in Germany and in France if they bring them in. There's going to be people who are excluded from certain shops and public life in certain places, all because they haven't got a vaccine passport. And also, I have to say this, Scripture limits the authority of government. It's a non-necessary interference because people should be free to live and work and worship according to the dictates of their conscience. And I've been asked where I stand in this, and I'm putting it out there. The state commands mandatory vaccines. This church and the Free Presbyterian Church should say no to them because we believe in individual conscience. I'm going to leave it there tonight. Our time is gone. I hope not to return to this subject. I definitely don't want to. So I, I leave that thought with you and pray that the Lord will help us this evening.